Hey guys, me here, and I have time to do one more unboxing before I leave to go to my internship. So I'm going to do Red Velvet's Russian Roulette. This is their third mini album. Red Velvet are one of my favorite girl groups. I just really enjoy the variety of music that they bring. Um, their last mini album was not my favorite, but I've heard really, really good things about this one. So I'm also very excited about this packaging. <laughs> very excited. All right. Ooh, weird. Okay. Front. Back. So, like I said when I talked about this album in my top of the month video, um, here's the CD. It's kind of weird, but it is like a pink. It doesn't look like there's anything in it, but it's pink and it says Russian Roulette, Red Velvet. Nothing behind it. Um, that I feel like this is Red Velvet's sound. I think they've found their sound and I'm really happy that they've found their sound because I feel like they've been kind of compared to FX for a while and now I think this album screams Red Velvet. So, oh my god, these are so pretty. I also was expecting like a darker concept, but this is also very Red Velvet style, kind of like ice cream cake and like Dum Dum where it's kind of cute, but also like has a more mature, cute feel to it. I don't really know. But yeah. These are very pretty photos. Oh, there's how many songs in this album? Where's the track list? It's on the inside. There's seven songs in here including Russian Roulette, but there's no intros and no instrumentals, so that's really nice. A solid mini album. Seven, I feel like, is a solid mini album, in my opinion. Kind of like four is like, you should probably be a single album, but okay. And then it's kind of like the way I don't think of nine. Nine is like a full-length album. I just think of it as like, Okay, you like almost had a very extended mini and then you added one more song to it. I don't know. I think eight could still be considered a mini album. It's considered a long mini album at that point, but oh, this is a really pretty photo. Irene looks so cute with this hair color. It's not really like this anymore, but very cute. Yeri also looks really good with red hair. I really like her red hair. Also not really like like that anymore, but the music video is also really fun and really interesting, and I just like really enjoy it. And I feel like they weren't supposed to really release their album first. I feel like Shiny was definitely supposed to release their album first, but I'm happy either way because now Shiny's album is out and I ordered it, so it's not like we didn't get both. But I remember when Red Velvet's album came out and everybody was like, but where's Shiny's album? But Onu got injured, so that probably has something to do with it. So in this you get a ad, and I'm really glad SM is back to the ads that like match the album. It's so nice. They used to just do this like generic one, but before that they did do these, so I'm really happy they're back to these when you get excited about ads. Sorry. And then you get a genie code. And you get a photo card. So the photo card I got was Silky. So my bias is Wendy, so I will be looking to trade Silky for Wendy. If you're interested in trading main vocalists with me, let me know. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to listen to this album. I really have no excuse to have not listened to it by this point because it's been out for like a while, but you know, we're, we don't need to talk about it, it's fine. But yeah, so I really, really like that album. I really like Russian Roulette. I think, I don't know if it's my favorite Red Velvet title track. I'm just, I just like Ice Cream Cake so much, but <laughs> definitely up there, I feel like. Like Russian Roulette, Dum Dum, Ice Cream Cake, and then I'm like missing two title tracks, and then that's all our title tracks, but I really like the way Red Velvet's music is continuing to grow, and I feel like SM could put some serious effort into them and like they would do really really well but they're very interested in NCT right now so whatever all right that is it for this unboxing um thank you for watching and I will leave everything else that I have coming down the
description box down below. The next package is I have a buy package coming because I had to pay for it. It's been in storage too long, had to pay for it. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.